Good morning dear students. Welcome back to my computer online class. Today we will learn third chapter from your computer book. Okay. So watch this video carefully. Windows 7 is the latest operating system developed by Microsoft for use on personal computers. It was released in October 2009. Windows 7 is one of the most popularly used operating system both at home and for business purpose. Windows Desktop The full the first screen that you see on switching on your computer is the Windows Desktop. Windows Desktop has four parts. Desktop background, icons, taskbar and start button. Desktop background the image on the desktop is called desktop background. Icons. Icons are the small labeled graphical pictures on the desktop which represent the files, folders and programs. You can double click the icons to open a program. For example, click the paint icon to start drawing. Taskbar. Long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen is called the taskbar. It contains icons of most used and currently open programs. Start button. The start button allows users to access their computer programs or configure Microsoft Windows easily. Changing background and screen saver. We can set the desktop background of our computer according to our choice. To do so, you need to right click anywhere on the desktop background to open a menu options. Select the last option personalize to open the window. Select click on the theme highlighted in figure to change the desktop background. The background will be set. You can also set your own photos as your desktop background. A moving image or text that is displayed on the desktop when your system is not working for some time is called screensaver. To add or change a screensaver to your system, click on screensaver link in personalization window. To open the screensaver settings dialog box, Click on the screensaver drop down box highlighted in figure. To open a list of available screensavers, select a screensaver of your choice to apply it. You can see a preview of your choice as shown a box. Change wait time if you want. Choose the 3D text option if you want to display a text of your choice. Then click the settings button to open 3D text settings dialog box. Type the text you want and click OK button. The preview of the new text is available. Leave your computer idle for 1 minute default value. And see the screensaver flashes on the screen. Window color. We can also change the color theme of your window. To change the color of window, right click anywhere on the desktop background to open a menu of options as shown. Select the last option personalize to open the window shown. Click on the window color highlighted in figure to change the color of window. Select any color of your choice. Click on the save changes button. We can change the color intensity level for the better output. Now your selected color theme will be applied on the computer. Gadgets icons. Gadgets are small programs that provide important information and easy access to frequently used tools. Main gadgets of Windows 7 operating systems are calendar, clock, CPU meter, currency, feed headlines, picture puzzle, slideshow, weather and Windows Media Center. 
we can add or remove the gadgets on your desktop according to your choice. To add gadgets to the desktop, right click anywhere on the desktop background to open a menu of options. Select the second last option gadgets. A list available gadgets will be listed. We can double click on the respective gadgets or click hold and drag the gadgets to the desktop. Gadgets will be added to right corner of the screen of your desktop. Control panel. Control panel is a collection of various tools which helps us to customize and control the functioning of Windows operating system. Control panel is viewed as a standard folder. To open control panel on your computer, you need to click on the start button, click on the control panel option from the start menu. The control panel window will appear as shown. Sound recorder. Windows 7 gives you an application to record your voice. To record your voice, click on start button, then all programs, then accessories. And then select sound recorder to open the recorder. Place your mouth near the microphone and click on start recording button to start recording your voice. When we have finished, click on the stop recording button. This will open the save as dialog box so that you may save your recording. Browse to the folder where we want to save the recording. Give it an appropriate name and click on save button. The file that you have created is an audio file and it will be saved as a Windows Media Audio WMA file. Listening to your recording. You can also listen your recorded sound whenever you want. For this, you need to open Windows File Explorer. Browse to the location where you saved your audio file. Double click on the file to open it using Windows Media Player. Playing games in Windows 7. Windows 7 provides a variety of games for entertainment of user. There are two types of games, offline games and online games. To play default games on Windows 7, click on the Start button. Then click on All Programs option. Now click on the Games folder from the menu that appears. A list of games will appear. Now click on any game of your choice and enjoy gaming. For instance, click on Spider Solitaire. The game will start and you can enjoy it. So students, it's your today's class. Hope you all understand this and thank you. Have a great day ahead.